Lads, we are like 820 subs away. No! I just lost a sub! No! We are just 818 subscribers away from 100,000. I'm in shock. The support has been unreal, and I'm so grateful to you guys for the support. So thank you all from the bottom of my heart. It's been my all-time YouTube goal since I started, and it'd mean the world to me if you guys could subscribe and help me get towards that goal of 100,000. I really appreciate each and every one of you. Let's get into the video. Today, we are talking about FIFA points, and whether you should buy them or not, whether you should spend them on FIFA 20 or not, and of course, it's completely up to you at the end of the day. I thought I'd compile some facts and figures and stuff like that for you guys to help you make your decision whether you want to buy FIFA points or whether you want to try and run a road to glory, whether you want to try and trade or invest or just grind your way up to a coin amount, um, and and uh, I'm going to talk to you guys through some of the benefits, the pros, the cons, stuff like that about FIFA points. And I thought the best way to do it is by going on to FIFA 19 real quick and giving you guys some average uh, statistics and average sort of numbers um, to help you guys gauge a better idea of FIFA points in general. Typically, at the start of FIFA, we are greeted by these two packs, a premium gold pack and a regular gold pack. Now, to give you an idea of what is typically in a premium gold pack, it'll be very awkward if we get something good now. Okay, good. It's not a walkout. That, that's good. Um, to tell you guys what is typically in a premium premium gold pack, I guess. Uh, you just want to sort of open one. This is very, very average for a premium gold pack, um, and this is what you're pretty much going to get. Now, uh, the discount value of a premium gold pack ranges between 1 to 2,000 coins. I would say the average is 1.5 to 2,000 coins. You typically get at least one gold rare player, which pushes the average above 1.5,000 coins, um, and you get yourself typically three or four players. It's usually three. Sometimes you get four players, though, um, and you get like a bunch of consumables, and you get kits and, and, and training items and stuff like that. Now, in terms of the average, so 2,000 coins, I'd say, is a pretty safe average. Uh, the reason I say that is because it's probably fair to go that way. Sometimes you get ridiculous packs that are like three, 4,000 coins discard value. Sometimes you get coin amounts inside packs. So I thought it'd be fair to sort of round up to 2,000 coins to give you guys a fair average of a 7.5k pack. So let's say the average is 2,000 coins um, and you get 80... What seven and a half k 150 uh, 150 thief point packs in 12,000 thief points? So 80 times 2,000, 160,000. That is your average coin amount just from discards from 12,000 FIFA points. So, to say you spend 79.99 and you get absolutely nothing, you get nothing worth anything, you're at least going to walk away with about 160,000 coins if you discard absolutely everything now of course there are consumables and to talk about consumables with an average price typically you get maybe one rare gold contract and 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 every three packs you get probably a gold squad fitness and then you get typically three non-rare gold contracts you get like a player fitness now to be fair you are going to keep most of these contracts i would imagine i'd imagine the non-rare gold you would keep most of them as you're going to be playing fifa you're going to want contracts so typically you'll probably keep contracts now rare gold contracts typically sell for 250 to three 50 coins at the start of the game um so to say we get one of these every pack 250 coins add that on to 80 so 80 times 250 it's 20,000 coins take away thousand coins of ea tax uh 19 000 coins is what you're gonna get so you want to add that to your average you're getting maybe 179k back if you sell your rare contracts now with rare squad fitnesses these always sell for about a thousand coins when the first weekend league starts so i'm gonna give them a thousand coin average give that one every let's say three packs to to be quite fair to the packs i say let's say one every three packs is is typically um what you get back i'd say so you get a thousand coins every three packs so we're going to round that up and we're going to say twenty-seven thousand coins for rare uh squad fitnesses uh meaning that you want to add that to your your average which is 179k now is a hundred uh, two hundred six thousand coins um is your now average for if you sell the rare uh contracts the rare consumables and you discard everything else in the pack obviously the discard value will go down so you may lose out on a couple thousand coins here and there but let's say it's about 205k to to sort of you know average it out round it out and stuff like that given ea tax and stuff like that as well um and that's with discarding these players um saving some contracts and and selling the rare contracts and of course you get the odd co coin bonus here or there um and typically that happens once every like few packs maybe like five six packs you get like a coin bonus like a thousand coins sometimes um to, to, so we're going to factor that in we're not going to put that down as an integer but we are going to say because you know sometimes you get two squad fitnesses uh, we are going to say one every like four or five packs you get like a thousand coin bonus something like that now this is a good uh this is a good sort of pack to talk about now so rudiger at the start of the game typically sells for 
um, an okay amount of coins. Now, I'm going to quickly go into Footbin real quick. Really good to start the game. is selling for like four to 5,000 coins. He rose a bit more and then dropped a bit more. So I'm going to say 4,000 coins for Rudiger. You probably get a th at the start of the game a fourth to thousand, four to 5,000 coin card. One every like five packs. So to, to put that into perspective, you get yourself every 10 packs, you get yourself maybe like seven to 8,000 coins back um from players so to you know from 80 packs every 10 packs is about you get yourself like let's say 8,000 coins that's 64,000 coins worth of players back just from um and i'm writing all this down by the way so i can do all the maths in my head that's an average of of getting like four or five thousand coin plays which you typically get a lot plays like rudiger are quite often packed um you'll get right and left backs from the premier league that sell for a bit you get yourself uh you know 84s and 85s that sell for a bit here and there and stuff like that so that is probably a good average so from our two hundred five thousand coin average we had just from the packs um to add in the sixty four thousand coins we typically get we're gonna say that's what like 270k roughly somewhere around that point um ea tax will take that down to 265k roughly so 265k is our new average for how much we're getting back from these packs now from personal experience i can tell you from 12,000 thief points i average i'd say two walkouts is very fair that's why i usually average about two walkouts so one in every 40 packs i'd average your walkout now that can range anything from a nemanja matic that was selling for like 15 to 20k at the start of the game or it could be like a ronaldo selling for a million coins i'm going to give an average of 60,000 coins allocated to one walkout so for two walkouts that's 120,000 coins uh adding on to our Oops, I didn't mean to. By the way, Lucas Label was meant to represent a walkout because I can't pack a walkout to save my life. Um, adding on to the sort of 265,000 coins we previously had, that is going to give us an extra 120k to work with. That's going to put us up to, um, what, like 380k? with the attack to maybe 375 something like that so we're about 375,000 coins roughly um to have a a fair average here for packs alone now i'd say one in every 20 packs you pack yourself someone like a rashford or someone like a uh davinson sanchez or someone that sells for sort of between 10 and 30,000 coins because it's that's a pretty fair uh, sort of one in every 20 packs you get that so you get four players in 12,000 thief points that sell for about 20k i would say uh giving you an extra 80k to play with so we're probably out by the way there's a coin bonus that's like my fifth pack so you know just to to, to prove that i'm probably being quite fair here um so we'll add like 80,000 coins to our 375k gets us to like 450 ish k roughly with with ea tax i'd say 450k is probably a fair integer to, to sort of work with this may seem really confusing but on the screen is sort of my workings out for this um i think from about 12,000 fifa points if you are pretty I'd, I'd say you have to get averagely lucky pretty lucky in packs uh in terms of pack probabilities if we could if we quickly get rid of this on the screen uh you can see an 84 plus is a five percent chance so sort of one every 20 packs i'd say is is probably fair to say uh you get yourself like an 84 plus but i'd say one in every 40 packs you get a walkout um obviously these are just my averages from personal experience as opposed to um real life averages these aren't like game code averages these are just my personal experience with packs uh, i've I spent a lot of these points as you guys can see um so this is probably like the best representation i can give you guys from my personal experience in terms of of, of of what you can make on the other side though in terms of investments and things like that at the start of the game it is very slow i think thief points are a must for a lot of people because it gives you that initial boost that you need to sort of start working with um and i think that a lot of people need that boost to start getting investments to start getting coins for investments and i think that in terms of time saving time saving and time management i think that fifa points are definitely the way forward if you are to sort of get 12,000 thief points and you get you do what i do for example you sell your rare contracts you sell your squad fitnesses you sell hunter cards catalyst cards shadow cards engines hawks um you know you sell the rare consumables and i think ea are putting in more things in packs but not obviously increasing the pack size just adding in more rubbish that you can discard um i think you could easily come away with at least 250 300k from packs if you literally don't pack a single walkout and you don't you don't get looking pack anyone worth sort of 20 30k um which is you know quite common for people to do at the start of the game um i think you can come away with an average of 250 300k with absolute ease just by being smart and selling your players obviously some people want to keep players some people want players for SBCs and stuff like that so it's going to differ with absolutely everybody these are the averages i would say are pretty fair to to put down so if you think it's fair to get sort of 
three I, i'd say 350 400k is a, a nice uh a, a nice mean to come to um if you if you think it's fair to spend 79.99 or with ea access it's um what is it it's it's 71.99 with ea access if you think that's fair for about 350 400 000 coins um if you ask me i would do it as you see, I've, I've loaded up 84,000 FIFA points. I might load up more. I'm not entirely sure yet. I might go to 100k just because I need uh, coins for content and stuff like that. However, if you guys don't make content, you don't, obviously don't need those kind of coins. So, And you will make coins back from rewards. You will make a lot of coins back from squad battles, from division rivals, eventually from foot champions. Um, and it's probably more worth it to work with those coins because I did five I did five rank one finish in, in rivals, which is probably pretty average for a lot of people. Uh, you get yourself 58,000 coins. That's like... That's like a quarter or, or like like a fifth of, of what you get back from 12,000 FIFA points. So you can actually just do that five weeks in a row. I know it takes a lot of time and get yourself what you get from 12,000 FIFA points. So if you don't have the money to spend, you can find coins from other means and other, other ways and other methods. I just think that in terms of time management, it is worth it to spend the FIFA points. But again, it's completely up to you guys, uh, and I'm not going to sit here and try and make your decision for you, but I thought I would give you guys um, a breakdown of how I see FIFA points and how many coins I think you can get from this and that and the other. Of course, you can make a hell of a lot more coins from draft. If you guys go and play draft, it's 300 FIFA points per draft, um, and from draft, you probably average, even if you get like, if you get one win or two wins in draft, you probably average like 10 to... 20k back at bare minimum meaning that if you put on 12,000 thief points you get 40 draft entries you get at least four to 500k maybe more you could even go up to upwards to like seven eight hundred k um even if you can only get one or two wins but of, of course that takes even more time so i think you sacrifice time for money uh, and you purchase yourself quicker um advantages in the game in my opinion which is 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 the whole sort of of i guess that, that's the whole point of FIFA points, really. Um, but hopefully you guys found this, this video useful. If you did, leave a like down below. Um, I would really appreciate if you guys could subscribe to the channel if you guys are new around here. We're so close to 100k. I'm really, really grateful. I'm so excited. I bought a bottle of champagne to celebrate. And uh, I can't wait. It's going to be amazing. I'm so grateful. It's been my all-time goal. And I, I genuinely... I, I've been getting a bit emotional thinking about it. Because it's like, it's like four years of hard work. Excessive hard work to get here. But... You know we've got here, so thank you all very much. And uh, of course, we're wearing the uh, we're wearing the, the Nick Twenty Eight T shirt. Go support the, uh, the 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 charity page and stuff like that. He does a charity stream next week, so go and show some love. Um, of course, picked up my shirt, and I will be donating in the charity stream. So highly recommend you guys go to, uh, go do that too. Twitch.tv slash Nick Twenty Eight T on the twenty seventh of September. He's running a charity stream. All funds raised go to charity for forty hours straight. He's streaming, which is absolutely mental. So make sure you guys go support that. Um, I will definitely be supporting that and. Uh, I think it's for a great cause. He's a great guy. So go and support that. And uh, and that's it for the video. If you guys have enjoyed, leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new around here. And I'll see you later.